Hi guys, Archimus here from the Solus Gaming Network's Tekkit server. Uh, we're here once again to have another little tutorial about uh, Tekkit and pipes and machinery and all that junk. Uh, this time we're going to do automated refined iron making using uh, red power and industrial craft. Okay, so why don't we just jump over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we've got our little equivalent exchange making lots of free iron ingots here. We're going to turn those into refined iron and drop them into this chest. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we'll just clear that out. Alright, so first thing we need to do is we need to have our friend an electric furnace. Okay, so we'll just drop this down. Oh, probably here's just fine. Alright, yep, first problem, we don't have any power. Okay. We'll just cheat a little bit here. Alright, so what we're going to do first of all is from our earlier tutorial about infinite power, we're just going to run some free power into this. Okay, there we go. Oops, nope, that's not going to work because, uh, silly me, should put it in the top, funnily enough. That's a really bright idea, isn't it? So, just proves that it uh, doesn't matter how long you've been doing this you can still make silly simple mistakes. Okay, now we've got power. So what we first thing we're going to do is we're going to oops, we're going to put the transposer in instead of a filter because we only want to do it one at a time. And the other thing that you have to remember is that you have to pipe in the iron ingots to the top slot and run them out the side slot. Okay, so what we'll quickly do first of all is we'll do the output into the chest, which is really simple, we just do that, okay, we won't worry about the timer just yet, I'll explain why in a minute, okay, now, here comes the fun part, we have to do the top part as well, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do our, do one of the pipes, transposer, go up one, across, across, okay, nice and simple, now, normally you'd put a timer right here, okay? And then another one right here. Let's save, it, save ourselves a bit of room here. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick the timer back here. Alright. Set it up there. Now what we're also going to do then, instead of just red uh, oops, alloy wire, we're going to use what's called red alloy wire. Once again, it's another red power thing. And as you can see, as it ticks, the whole pipe, the whole red wire flashes to show that there's been a pulse. Okay, so as you can see, now transpose is now flicking away madly to show that it's actually trying to do something. Of course, we can't right click on it because it does nothing but just single item straight through. So what we should do now is do this, and our first item comes along. One iron ingot goes in, starts being done. Now, depending on your situation, this could be a bit slow, could be a bit fast. You want to slow it down, slow down the timer. Let's say we want to we want to pump this thing, we want to crank it up good. So we're going to drop some four of these overclocker upgrades in. As you can see, power starting to flicker a little bit there. So if we put five in, Uh, even 5 gets away with generally, but depending, it may eventually drop down and you'll actually run out of power as it were. So I usually find 4, maybe 5. 4 should be enough for extended use. And as you can see, it's moving so quickly that this can't keep up, the actual transposers. So let's drop that down to 1 second. and that should keep a nice steady flow happening there even to the point where this is going all the way up alright so let's say in the situation where you've left it running overnight or whatever the case may be and our good old friendly chest here is starting to fill up pretty quick so this is going to be the poor man's time lapse of course Three, nearly done here. Sorry about all this, guys. 
Okay, nearly there. And one more for good luck. Okay, so what's going to happen when this fills up? Okay, nearly there, 63, 64. Can't do any more. So this one stopped moving, but this one's still going. The reason is, is that our stack here in the electric furnace hasn't actually filled all the way to 64. Okay, so if we give that a minute there to run through. Okay, nearly there. All right, let's just time, let's just jump ahead a little bit here. Okay, and back we are again. That was very quick, of course. You don't notice anything, but that was a good uh, minute or so there. And whoop, there we go. We've hit 64 here. The machine stops trying to process any more, of course. And then as the top slot, as it were, fills up, just a couple more through, and then this transpose will stop trying to send items through as well. Once again, no overflow, like back from our first tutorial about Buildcraft versus Red Power piping. And there you go. That's it, no more. So until we remove a stack from here, like so, then it'll start processing them all again, obviously. Okay guys, so that's uh, it for another tutorial. Uh, not sure what we're going to do for the next one yet, but uh, I'll uh, hopefully have it up soon. Thank you very much and uh, have a great one.